Hi, Jimmy here with Stories of the Ink. And back in May, when on May the 4th, when we released our Star Wars episode, we were inundated with requests for a Star Trek episode. So we aim to please. So here it is, sent from our fans. Live long, prosper, and subscribe to our channel. Hi, uh, my name is Sean Dubs. I am 29 years old. I am a massage therapist in Seattle, Washington. And uh, Definitely a fan of Star Trek The Next Generation. Jean-Luc, uh, shirt, thank you, Goodwill. Uh, and my whole left arm. Uh, so I have a sleeve that is 23 hours in, in the works, probably about four hours left to go, uh, with a large board cube up top, moon, the shuttle, uh, a planet soon to be colored in, and the, uh, the beloved Enterprise D. Uh, because of my belief system of being uh, quite agnostic and uh, uh, a bit more uh, logically and scientifically grounded uh, in my life, uh, Star Trek was super attractive and so much of the series focuses on diplomatic relationships between different species and and how uh, and exploring the history of how Earth went through so much ugliness and turmoil and conflict and and people came together eventually <laughs> came together as a planet to uh, to be Starfleet and to be uh, a united front. I have a, a very small tattoo on my left hip that says a linear existence. Uh, it's just black writing with a black line above it. And uh, that comes from Star Trek DS9, Deep Space Nine, uh, <clears throat> when the commander was trying to explain how humans exist in a linear format. He was trying to explain that to aliens who existed outside of time, and uh, uh, it became my version of YOLO. Uh, that uh, I, 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 I don't get to go backwards on the on the line at all. It's just moving forward, always moving forward. I have two Star Trek tattoos. I have the Star Trek insignia in my ear, um, and I have to boldly go on my ribs. Um, Star Trek was not something I grew up with. I didn't watch it as a kid. I actually didn't start watching Star Trek until I was like 19, almost 20 years old. But ever since then, I've been a huge fan. I've seen every single Star Trek episode, all the movies. Um, my favorite Star Trek series is Deep Space Nine. I've seen that probably about four times all the way through. Um, Star Trek, similar to Disney, I think it has a lot of really amazing lessons about life and being human and going forward. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you about my Star Trek tattoo. Um, it's the United Federation of Planets Insignia and I have a matching one with my sister. Um, we have had a very tempestuous relationship um, for most of our lives, and, but we've always had Star Trek in common. Um, and it sort of signifies what we've been through, and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I had in mind that I wanted a Trek tattoo, and uh, I knew the perfect person to give it to me. I have a good friend named Jamie, who's a tattoo artist with Treasure Inc. And she is another huge Trekkie. She loves Voyager just like me, and we have a lot in common. So I thought about comm badges. A lot of Trekkies have a comm badge tattoo, and it's very cool. It can reflect your favorite series because the design of the comm badge shifted from the original series to Next Generation to Deep Space Nine to Voyager, etc. But I wanted something a little more unique than that. I thought about the EDIC symbol, infinite diversity and infinite combinations, which is a Vulcan philosophy of inclusion and um, embracing diversity. Uh, but I decided against that. I decided against live long and prosper and the live long and prosper symbol. I just wanted something that I hadn't seen before that was a little more unique and also a little more simple and elegant. And uh, I decided that I wanted Voyager, the ship Voyager, because the ship is incredibly beautiful, very sleek, very sexy. It's a gorgeous ship and I love the lines of it. I love the look of Voyager and Voyager is so important to my life. I think about my dad often in the context of Star Trek because he passed away when I was six and he loved Star Trek so much and Star Trek was so much a part of his life and it's become so much a part of mine. 
Every time I read a new Star Trek novel or a new Star Trek series debuts, I think, oh my god, my dad would have loved this so much. I wish he were here to see this and to share this with me. My name's Emma Claire, and this is the tattoo I'm going to tell you about. Um, I got this tattoo, my brother and I got matching ones. Uh, his is slightly larger, and it's on his wrist. Uh, but we both grew up loving Star Trek. Our dad watched it all the time. Um, and I think it's, you know, had an influence on who we've turned out to be, on this idea that anything is possible, uh, but also a really fantastic way of treating all people with respect. Um, and we decided to get communicator symbols because we've always lived really far apart from each other uh, as adults. And this way we always have each other's coordinates. So, yeah, that's the story of my tattoo. Hi, my name is Crystal. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. I am a huge Star Trek fan, uh, but I got started with Star Trek Voyager because I'm a huge advocate for anything that is female-led. And as most of us probably know, Star Trek Voyager feature features Captain Janeway, uh, or Captain Catherine Janeway, um, who is played by Kate Mulgrew, who I'm also a big fan of. Um, through watching the show, I became a really big fan of Seven of Nine, played by Jerry Ryan. I think that the character development that Seven of Nine goes through throughout the show um, was something that really resonated with me. It taught me that no matter how bad you think your past is or what you've been through, you can overcome anything and you can always find people who love you. All that being said, I've long had a dream of my right arm as a tattoo sleeve being um, women who motivate and inspire me in a watercolor format um, with color pops that make the character recognizable. Um, for me, I started my sleeve with Seven of Nine. Um, the reason I got it was, or why I started with her, was because every year on my birthday, I try to get a tattoo that represents someone that I also share a birthday with or something that happened on my birthday. Uh, this year I discovered that Jerry Ryan and I share a birthday, so I thought it was fitting that I'd start my sleeve with her. Um, to be honest, I kind of prolonged starting the sleeve because I wasn't really sure who to start with, uh, but resistance is futile, I guess, so here she is. Hi. My name is Leval, and I am a physics student and alternative model from Gothenburg, Sweden. I have a tattoo. <laughs> I have a few of them, um, but you've probably figured out by now since I'm in this episode that I have a Star Trek tattoo, um, which you can't see now because it's on my left thigh. But I have Mr. Spock's hand doing the Vulcan salute. And with that, I have the quote, live long and prosper, because I'm an absolute cheese ball. <laughs> Mr. Spock is such a great character, because uh, he's a lot more relatable than <laughs> many people might think. Um, especially as someone who studies science and is on the autism spectrum, uh, I think he's a great character. Because people think of him as cold, um, and sort of like emotionless. But he isn't. He has all of these emotions. He, he's just learned how to control them. And I think we should all do that. <laughs> I think the world would be a better place if we could learn to control our emotions better. My Star Trek tattoo. I got it because there are just so many different works of fiction that I love but just don't quite have the room for. And I'm just a little bit picky about which things actually get fully represented and I just knew that Star Trek had to be one of them. It's uh, definitely the only sci-fi tattoo that I have. Everything else is very uh, neo-traditional, fairy tale, foresty, and in my mind are sort of like nods to my favorite 90s animation, like stuff like uh, The Princess and the Goblin and The Last Unicorn and Robin Hood and stuff like that. So in that same vein, I feel like my Star Trek tattoo sort of holds down the fort for stuff like uh, Outlaw Star and Reboot and Dot Hack and Aliens anything else that's set in space that I just didn't really want interfering with my leafy forest theme. And I'm also a firm believer that you can add words to almost anything and it always looks good and tends to complement the work around it. And I had this little Starfleet symbol added later just so there'd be no mistaking it. And I actually got this quote because of my favorite character Data 
who's actually an android, and uh, there's this scene very early on in Next Gen where he and Riker beam down to this planet and sort of have this conversation where Riker sort of playfully asks him, like, do you think you're superior to humans? To which he pretty much says, like, well, yeah, I am, but I would gladly give it up to be human. And I just love his character and how he spends the entirety of the series just trying to be the best person that he can possibly be by observing the people who he admires most. And, you know, that's probably what I love most about Star Trek is uh, no matter the space age or the alien planets, there's always these, like, very relatable human stories being told. And uh, it always meant a lot to me to see a mixed cast and, you know, families that actually look like mine and something else that I could really dive into. And they just broke down so many different barriers and always tried to have a really important conversation with the audience. And I just think that's really important. So, yeah. Live long and prosper. Hi guys, I'm Silvia from Italy and uh, I'm here to talk about my Star Trek tattoo. Um, I'm a Star Trek fan, so my tattoo represents uh, the USS Enterprise. Um, this symbolizes for me the passion for knowledge and I represent uh, the moment spent uh, with my family watching the TV show. Um, I'm a fan of uh, classical series, um, the Deep Space Nine, and the newest uh, Star Trek uh, Discovery. Um, my tattoo uh, was done by a talented woman um, named uh, Tina Tina from uh, Red Cardinal Tattoo Studio in Alassio. Hope you like it. Bye. Hi. I'm Sarah, I'm from New Zealand. Uh, I, my arm tattoo initially started off as a suggestion from my daughter, something to get matching for her 18th birthday. And it quickly turned into what I now call my uh, sci-fi geek arm. Uh, I added the Star Trek elements last year and it's just something that makes me happy, I guess. Uh, I've always loved Star Trek and I'm quite proud to have the Star Trek elements on my tattoo. Uh, it makes me feel good to just be who I am and just love what I love and not really care what other people think about it because it's not for them, it's just for me. Um, well, I've got a Star Trek turtle on my right forearm. Um, uh, I got it about um, one year ago when I was 18. It's my first uh, tattoo. And I actually draw it myself because I wanted to like have something unique. It also says, open your mind, which points out that uh, the, the fact that I think more people should be open-minded Live long and prosper.